Welcome to Two Minutes in Trade, where we interpret the latest trade news to help you understand the impact on your business. For a comprehensive background on the issues discussed today, please visit strtrade.com. This is December 21st, 2021. I'm Deborah Stern, member of the Customs and Import Group of the law firm of Sandler, Travis & Rosenberg, PA. Are you ready for the delayed HTSUS 2022? As all importers know, every imported product has to be classified somewhere within the thousands of lines of the Harmonized Tariff Schedule of the United States, or HTSUS. The tariff classification dictates the goods regular duty rate, eligibility for special programs, duty exemptions, additional duties, and certain other import requirements. The HTSUS is based on an international commodity coding system used by nearly all countries and customs unions. It's managed and updated by an intergovernmental body of the World Customs Organization. And every five years or so, amendments to the international legal text are adopted by that body and then have to be incorporated into each country's own tariff schedules. The next international version includes new provisions for 3D printing and flat panel modules, new six-digit subheadings for electrical and electronic waste, drones, smartphones, electronic cigarettes and vape devices, hazardous chemicals, LEDs, and others. There are more than 350 international changes, which translate to hundreds more changes to our own HTSUS, both in legal text and numerical coding. The changes take effect January 1, 2022, though not all countries will have their tariffs ready by then, and some have implemented early. The U.S. is included in the group that won't be ready. This is because the president has to proclaim the WCO's changes, and then they're published in the Federal Register to become effective 30 days thereafter. But the president has not yet signed the proclamation. So there will be a new version of the HTSUS on January 1, 2022 but those 350 international changes will not be included yet. Importers can make the best of the delay by reviewing their internal databases and updating them with any new classifications. They can also take that time to seek advice from experts and request CBP rulings on how their products are going to be classified under the new provisions. The changes are not supposed to have any duty impact, So importers that identify any changes in duty, along with changes in classification, please feel free to reach out to Sandler, Travis, and Rosenberg to see if any recourse is available. With professionals in nine offices, Sandler, Travis, and Rosenberg is the largest international trade, customs, and export law firm in the world. This is for informational purposes only and is not legal advice. The hiring of an attorney is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements. Ask us to send you free written information about our qualifications and experience. Email us at messages at strtrade.com.